All right, guys, so today we are in Castleton, Indiana at the Fashion Mall, and we're about to try out a place that we've been many times before. You might say that the decor is as eclectic as the menu. One might say that, <laughs> right? And uh, they also have a lot of desserts. Brace yourself. It's the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> So much room for activities. All right, if you've never been to Cheesecake Factory before, I don't know that the menu here is about 700 pages long. Um, there's a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm not going to say what everything is on here. I thought about it at one time about seeing how fast I could say everything, but I'll kind of just flip through quickly and let you take a look at some things. You got some small plates and snacks, some appetizers, some appetizer salads, flatbread pizzas. I normally go with the pepperoni flatbread pizza, it's my favorite. The lunch specials until 5 p.m. Glam burgers, salads, Sammy's, the specialties, pasta specialties, fish and seafoods, steaks, sides. Then they have a breakfast and brunch menu. I've never come here for that. It seems like a waste. And then the back pages are the cheesecakes and desserts. So we will probably go over this a little more in depth uh, when it's time to order, but uh, now you've seen it all. If you don't know this about Cheesecake Factory, the brown bread is the best bread. And if you ask real nicely, your server will give you more of it, or all of it, but Brent likes the regular bread, so he gave us Two loaves of the brown bread, one of the crunchy bread, but bread bed is best. Bread bread bed. I'm gonna say bed all day. Soft butter. <laughs> sauces. I kind of like mix and match the sauces. So I think this is the Mm. Mm. So good. It's Tex-Mex. And then 
this sauce right here. It's grippy green boy. So good. It's sweet. It's tamarind sauce. So freaking good. I literally could just drink that. Challenge. I'm not going to be nippy because I want to eat it on my eyes instead. But it's a favorite sauce, so it's the one that I go to the most. Cheeseburger sauce is probably my second favorite. It's just the best. So good. <laughs> Alright, so I got the Cuban sandwich. Coupon, if you will. We've got our pressed bread here. We've got ham, pork, pickles, cheese, mustard, mayonnaise, squishies, Frenchies. Everything you could ever have. And it comes with ketchup automatically. <laughs> I mean, they don't put it on the table, so... Do you think you can tell if it's Heinz or Red Bull from tasting it? That's what we need to do is taste test your ketchup skills. And my ranch skills and see if I can tell HBR. It's definitely not Red Bull. It's vinegary, which Red Bull is just straight sugar, I think. So it tastes good to me. I'll eat it. Maybe it's just... Uh, <laughs> Since you just licked it off. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe they have their own proprietary blend. Oh, it could be. I doubt it. They make their own ketchup. We can ask. So, the real question is when we get Grace to try this sandwich since it has ham. I guess she'll try it for the tubes. She won't be a fan though. Chances are there will be faces made. <laughs> Is it tasty? It's very good. I've never had it before. Really? I've had many Cubano. Yeah, you I've love a good Cuban. Here. That's kind of surprising. Like I said earlier, the only thing I ever get here is the pizza. Only because, as you know, I'm super cheap. So. Even though I pay. It's all the same thing. It's all yeah. coming from one place. But the flatbread pizza is a good size pizza, like this. And it fills me up. And it's only like $11. It's the best bang for your buck you can get. That's what she said. Yeah. This sandwich, I think, is 18 So, it's good. And we have a little salty. It's not on the lunch special? No. You only get just your basic french fries. Fine. I mean, really, all you do here, Grace really loves the egg rolls, but all we're doing here is we're eating for the dessert. So... It's kind of like our uh, melting pot episode <laughs> where it's like, take or leave the food part of it, you get there for the dessert. So I just can't ever get Grace to actually agree to do that. I would come here for just cheesecake if it wasn't an hour and a half away. Well, normally, we get just super long wait here too. Uh, yeah. Anybody who's ever been to Cheesecake Factory, at least in Indiana, knows me. There's usually a two, three hour wait. We just happen to come in the middle of the week on in the middle of the day, so we got ready to get a reservation. So. I like 80% of the pizza here bread, mayonnaise, mustard, It has mayonnaise too. Okay. There's probably enough going on in there that you won't even taste the ham. So dramatic. Ham is gross. You got mm. some mayonnaise on your face. Good. Mayo face. Not yeah, very. Ham is so gross. I don't want that anymore. I'm not having fun anymore. Come back here for a second. The only thing that I was telling Grace is I'm not a big fan of pickles. I like the taste of pickles. I don't like the texture and like what they taste like when I eat them. I like the juicy part of it. So if somebody can make me a Cuban sandwich, pile on the pickles, and then when it's time to hand it to me, open it back up and throw all the pickles back off, then I could finally be happy enough. Oh, shoot. shoot. Pickle down. Pickle down. Because I like the juicy, but I don't like the crunchies. That's the best part, is the crunch. You can. He gone. I gone. Mayonnaise face.
Fu Manchu. Tiramisu cheesecake, which I've never had before. I am pretty excited for it um, because I've been on a tiramisu cake kick lately. Ugh, my mouth is not working today. Um, it's all it all started at Giordano's, which if you watched that, but you should if you haven't. I fell in love with tiramisu there. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's so stinking good. Cheesecakey, but just tastes like chocolate and coffee to me, honestly. Like, I don't even taste the cheesecake, so Brent might even like this. He's not a big cheesecake fan. I don't know what kind of fluff this is. Chocolate. I was hoping for coffee. It's chocolate. But that's okay. You always gotta make sure you get extra of that little poof of, um the fresh whipped cream because that whipped cream is just stinking heavenly mm. <laughs> oh my god Oof, that's good that's dangerous i could eat that whole thing right now but i won't because that would be bad because i'm really full this one like you can't really see from that angle because the way it's leaning and this is the pineapple upside down cheesecake which we have gotten before like i just said brent doesn't really like cheesecake but he does like this one I think because there's like actual cake in it and so it's not too cheesecakey for him and who doesn't like pineapple upside down cheesecake I mean, or cake in general come on oh that's good so stinking good fresh fruity pineapple-y cherries oh mm. Mm. all right so i'll try the tiramisu Grace said, I'm not a huge fan of cheesecake. I don't like cream cheese that much. I'm getting used to it. I like it in sweet things, but I will not eat it if it's not filled with sugar. So, we give the floral. Get some lady fingers on the bottom. You got your cheese quake. You got um, maybe some other things. I don't know what's in there. I know it's in actual tiramisu, but I don't know what's in the cheesecake version. No, it tastes like tiramisu. I mean, did you get a lot of coffee flavor in you when you tasted sure. it? Because I, I do too. So you didn't mention the coffee part of it at all. So I was just making sure. I, I, did. Yeah. I was just so overwhelmed by flavor. Onto the pineapple upside down. It's one of my favorite cakes in real life. So the cheesecake version, not as good. That's good whip. I don't know if this whip on the top is different or not, but I'm gonna try. You get your cake on the bottom, pineapple and cherry, cheesecake, more cake, more pineapple, more cherry, more cream, all of the above. Delicious. That's amazing. It will, I mean, no worries. All right, I'll look at the bill. So... Prince Cuban was $17.50, my egg roll sampler. Even though it's technically an appetizer, it's big enough to be a meal, 16 bucks. Each of the cheesecakes are about $10. I will tell you though, that cheesecake, they're big pieces. They fill you up, it's a full dessert. So we will probably eat bites off that cheesecake for a couple days. Um, it's a little bit on the pricey end, but it is an experience. It is a fancy thing. We don't come here often. And we are here because uh, our dear friend Ashley gave us a gift card. So shout out to her um, for doing that. But overall, delicious, pricey, but worth it. So we just finished up eating at the Cheesecake Factory. This is one of my favorite places just because it's fun. And there's a lot of different options. And I love cheesecake. I always... Ooh. I hit the microphone. We got these new fuzzy microphones for the wind. And they're oh, so cute. I took it out and I laughed for like five minutes. Because it's so cute. She's easily entertained. It's fluffy. I'm tired, so everything's funny to me. Anyways, um, it was delicious and I loved it. And I'm really happy I tried a new cheesecake, the tiramisu cheesecake, because that was amazing. And probably it's going to be my no new go-to cheesecake. At least until the next time that you come and try something different. <laughs> there's, what, like 50 cheesecake yeah, flavors Yeah, there's try? hundreds and hundreds, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm good at math. Uh, yeah, I like Cheesecake Factory. Um, it's awesome when you're able to just walk in 
and get a table mm-hmm. and eat. Uh, it sucks uh, when you have to wait for which, like three hours, I've which only is had to normally. Do once. But you're better than me because I've only ever waited for at least two hours unless I was here with her for some reason. So I'm the good luck I, charm. I so know. if you want to come to Cheesecake Factory and not have to wait yeah. for a while, come with me. Call Grace up. She'll bring you in. <laughs> Otherwise, right in. food's awesome. It just is really expensive. And the worst part about it, maybe the best part, depending on what you're, what you're looking for, is this is like the first place where they put all of the calorie counts on mm. every single thing on the menu. So, like, if you're looking at, like, uh... I don't know, a cup of soup, and it's like, oh, 700 calories, and you're like, Grr! They do have the skinny delicious menu, which we didn't show you, so that's, like, it takes all of the lower, not low calorie, but lower calorie yeah. food and puts it all together. But I don't know. I, I mean, I know that you're always eating those calories, but for somebody like me who's always struggling with... <coughs> weight Sorry. and image and all that stuff um it makes it a lot harder when you see it in front of you so whatever the food's great we love it cheesecake's awesome it's just a little on the pricey side but everything mm-hmm. is nowadays make sure you find people that give you gift cards and and then you can go anywhere you want to those but, are the best uh, people yeah so obviously thumbs up from both of us so happy thumbs up yep we appreciate you keep watching Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, uh, click us on Facebook or on Instagram also, because we put some stuff up on there. We're always looking to talk to more people and see what you want to see us see. Later! Goofball.